all due respect, no disrespect. I just want you to, you know, I want you to piss in my face. I fuck with your mindset. <laughs> This is the help hotline. We don't play. Ty is trying to get the pussy and don't know how. I love stories of trying. Who need to call me and talk to me? Hey, what's going on? For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Kevin Gates. This is the Kevin Gates Helpline. This is my best friend and co-host, OG Booby Black. What we're going to be doing today is taking calls from listeners all over the world. They may need a little help figuring out some of life's issues. Make sure you stay tuned because some of the callers may have the same questions that you have. Hey, Boo, who we got on the line? Hey, we got Jay on the line from Georgia. Click at me and see what he's talking about. What up, Jay? You on a Kevin Gates hotline with Kevin Gates and OG Booby Black. Okay, so I've been with a guy, and, you know, basically, he, you know, is living a whole type of street life thing. So we're going to leave it at that. So my question is, should I even continue to persuade this, or y'all think I should just wash my hands with this? Hmm. Most of the street-oriented people that's out here, like, they some of the most intelligent people in the world and have some of the greatest potential. Do you see potential? Do you see greatness in this person? He has amazing potential, but it's just a flakiness for me. Unfortunately, being that I have an extensive background and being in the streets, we're able to detach easy. You know, we have such big hearts. We do everything hard. We, we hustle hard. We fight hard. We provide hard. We even love hard because we never know when our last day could be. We never know when we're going to die. We never know when we're going to go to jail. So a lot of times that detachment don't really come from him trying to shun you or push you away or him being aloof. It really more come from a standpoint of I got to guard myself and protect myself because I never know when I might lose this. So if I go all the way in with it and I do lose it, it could really be devastating to me. For me, whenever I would push my woman away and be cold, that's when I need you to hold me most. That's when I need you to be the big spoon and just wrap your arms around me and let me know it's going to be okay. I could be vulnerable with you. Because, you know, in the streets, I can't show no vulnerability. I got to have that rough exterior at all times. And sometimes we bring that street mentality into the household with our woman, unbeknownst to ourselves. I just want to tell you something before we get off the line. If you focus on something, you got to stay focused on what it is, no matter what the situation may be. Every day is a beginning to a new experience, so no matter what it is, to try to make it better because it could get better, you know what I'm saying? And from what it sounds like, sounds like he's a great guy. And he is. But like I said, I, I truly appreciate the both of you take on Man, it stop because playing. like I stop said, acting like you know, stop acting like a real street nigga and got that real good dick. Don't nobody put it on you how he put it on you, man. Let's stop playing. You won't go let me get that one out man, there. I'm a street I'm nigga, man, so I ain't about to let you even insult us like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get that man a chance and just see how it's gonna work out. It's gonna be better for you. It will. I appreciate y'all so much. Yes, ma'am. We ma appreciate you, too. Exactly. I mean, the most. We appreciate you. All right. Bye. I think Jaden got that dick and she didn't got hooked and she don't want the dog to go outside. See, this is my thing. You keep talking about the dog going outside. Nah, she said he was a street cat. They be hot and they be cold. So I ain't going to put all my eggs in one basket because, like I said on, the, on one of the shows prior, you know, it's a sad-ass mouse that only got one hole to go in. You know, that's how he feeling. Yeah, because when the cat cover up that hole, that mouse ain't got nowhere else to go. Right. Believe that. I just want to take a little moment of silence for the sick off. If this bitch hear the truth. We you yeah. Who we got on the line, boo? She was popping, man. You heard me? Okay, we got, uh... We got Ty from Illinois in the building. Click him in, let's see what he talking about, you heard? Hello? How may I serve you today? Blessing to talk to you both. Yes, indeed. Uh, My situation, I mean, pretty much revolves around trying to get laid more. Trying to get laid more? Uh, yeah. What's been difficult about getting laid? Well, I just turned 18. I relied on the theory to let women come to you. Yeah. Which didn't work at the time because I later figured out that women perceived that as being weak when you don't try to make the approach. My grandfather used to tell me, if you don't go, you'll never know. And then me, like, I'm living in my truth. So I'm like super respectful, like, like, hello, how are you? And I'm Kevin. And she might tell me her name is 
Allegra or something like that. And I'd be like, what I'm about to say is very inappropriate. Would you like me to continue? And she'd be like, yeah, please continue. You know, I would drink your bath water right now. I mean, you know, what's up? Like I say, I, I say this to everybody. You'll be you'll be amazed at what people will agree to just if you just ask. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. So can I ask you a question? Ask me any question. I got to answer. Do you believe in going on porn sites or dating sites to get quick hookups? I'm going to tell you a story. Look, check it out. One time I put myself, I took a picture of myself and went on this like, it's supposed to be like a quick hookup site because I was watching porn, and it was like, uh -huh. find people that want to fuck in the area near you, like five feet away, minutes away or some shit, people in your city that just want to fuck. So I had to send a picture of my body. I sent a picture of my body. They sent me an email back talking about you can't use celebrity pictures. I had to call in and tell them it was really me and all that silly ass shit. And, <laughs> yeah, it's a funny story. I never told anybody that, but when you asked me that question, it... It, it triggered that thought. I hope I was able to answer your question. Yeah, Ty, you just got to tell them yes, what you, sir, tell them on your mind, man. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? You have a beautiful day. Blessings on your journey, brother. Yes, you too. All right, brother. It was wonderful talking to you. Yes, Likewise. sir. Ty is trying to get the pussy and don't know how. I think Ty probably buying some pussy or something because he want to know how to get it just like that. You know what I mean? You say he just turned 18. Shit, they be doing that self 16 something. See, my advice to Ty would be, baby, first you gotta find out what it is you really want. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you then you go to, from there, you know. Yeah. Once you know their demographic, that's 90% of the battle. Yeah, yeah. Who we got on the line? We got Jess from New York. Jess from New York? Yeah. Click them in and see what they talking about. What up, Jess? Okay, so this is my issue. My fiance was in prison for 12 years. I met him on a dating website, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so we got out, everything's been great since he got out, but one of the people that he had sent him bread while he was in there, he ended up being with her, banging her out, doing whatever they got to do, but it was not yeah, he called what it, we he, had. He, call, he called us slipping and stamp. It wasn't It wasn't love. It was more like lust. But I get it, because he's been locked up for 12 years. I just asked him to keep it real with me. Like, look, at the end of the day, if I just went and do it 12 years, I ain't finna lie to you. I'm finna go flex. We ain't got no rings on our fingers. I fuck with your mindset. You gonna make somebody a good wife. Well, I'm trying to be his good wife. Listen, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, since I've been with him, I told him I I said, look, I'm going to fall in love with you through the conversation that we had. It's the intellectual intercourse, the mental safari. It's not just the sex for you. You in love with the person. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong. You kind of got a concern on him being able to feel like he could be honest with you. Yes. I'm going to be honest with you. When I came out of prison, I didn't want to leave one prison just to come be in another prison. You know what I'm saying? When my woman told me, babe, you you want to have a threesome with this woman or you just want to fuck her by yourself? I say, babe, I want to get her by myself. She say, well, babe, hurry up and go knock her ass off and come back home to me. But after I did that, I had went, took a shower and just got myself together and I came back. I was like, babe, I miss you. Babe, just, just cuddle me. Just hold me, babe. Be the big spoon. I'm going to be the little spoon because I just, babe, I miss you. I don't know about for him, but once I really truly understand that I got somebody that love me and is willing to allow me to be me. Once that came, I could just be myself with this woman. It added so much value to this woman because it's like, you know what? I'm not going to never find no bitch that's beautiful as you and that's willing to love me and accept me for me and let me be me. Let me be a man. Yes, that's what I want. I think that's the solution to your problem, like creating that space with that man. Dang, that's the realest thing I've heard all day. Thank you. Right, thank yes, you. Lord. I love stories of trying. Mm -hmm. And she was real. She wasn't saying that she wouldn't do this. She was saying she would do all this for this man. Yeah, she was being supportive. She understand it take a village out here. Yeah. Yeah, it take a big village. Big old village. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you for tuning in to the Kevin Gates Helpline. I'm Kevin Gates. This is my co-host, OG Booby Black. And let me leave you with this. The things that are outside of our control are just what they are outside of our control. I love you. When I got my shit slicked back and I'm 
smoking these cigars, man, it's, you know, my other alter ego come out. Now you got, y'all, yeah, you, yeah, you was dealing with, with Kevin Gates, now today you dealing with Cartel Bo. My nickname, Bo. A lot of people call me Cartel Bo. 